In 99 and 2000, Stella was big, releasing two platinum albums. But tomorrow night in Auckland, they play what's billed as their final concert. Ali Akram went along to their last practice session. Stella have come back to say goodbye. They never really split up, just petered out four years ago after album number three. If the band were even slightly emotional about their final gig, it wasn't showing. Between our first and second records, I remember I made this calculation that we played around uh, <laughs> like 150 to 200 shows in that time, and that's actually quite a lot to play a song, you know, or Andrew, a collection of songs. That... Andrew always makes these calculations. Andrew McLaren possessing a most reg quality in a drummer, a hit for statistics. We've probably made 9 out of 12 bad videos. <laughs> I think we all agree with that. What was the most shit video you made? <laughs> Most shit one. Um, oh, well, I reckon, I mean, Taken's up there for me. Ah, the video for Taken that put Bo Runger at the wheel of a classic American car. The only problem was she couldn't drive. These days, Bo is living in L.A. designing jewellery, while Kurt Shanks has gone from providing bass lines to writing lines for local body politicians, including former Auckland Mayor John Banks. Are you going to blame me for the fact he didn't get re-elected? <laughs> no, I was just going to ask you which one of, one of the lines of his speeches oh, that you're most proud of. Oh, probably something about the, the nice... Um Pike clips that the ladies have made at the opening for the bowling club. But in this world where acts like Eminem and Jay-Z announced their retirements only to be back a few months later, is this really the end for Stella? So this is going to be your last concert? Yes, it is. Do you promise? Yeah, I, I do. I, I definitely promise. <laughs> yeah. I think I feel a little bit sad, but kind of, I don't know. I was feeling a bit sad today, actually. Yeah. So it is the end. Then Kurt suggested it might be a good idea to do one last gig in Christchurch, where Runga and McLaren are from. So let's just say it'll be the last gig in Auckland forever. Ali Akram, Free News.